Hello everybody, welcome to vlog number four in this development series. Today I'll be talking about two major changes that I've made in my game. The first being the new inventory system that I've created, and the second being item rarities, which I'll talk about later in this video. If I click on this icon right here, you'll notice that the inventory GUI is completely different. It used to be a 4x4 matrix, but now it's a uh, four slot uh, looking thing uh, with silhouettes of backpacks. So these are backpack slots. And what you can do is put a backpack in them and you can use the backpack that way. And I'll show you how to do that. I have these boxes here that um, give me different types of backpacks. So here's the first one. And to use the backpack, all you have to do is simply right click on it and that opens the backpacks uh, GUI. And this is basically the new inventory system. So uh, what's really cool about this is that I get additional slots per backpack and you can move uh, the GUI around. You couldn't do that before. So the first backpack has four slots. The second backpack has eight. And that's what that looks like. And every, uh, every level up gives you an additional four slots. So bag three would give you 16 slots. Or no, sorry, 12. 12 slots. Bag four would give you 16 slots. And then I'm gonna destroy that. Bag five has uh, 20 slots. And then the maximum bag, let me destroy this. Here's what the, the last bag looks like. That one gives you 24 slots. I actually plan on making more backpacks in the future, so in the future you might see bigger backpacks. Um, I think this backpack is actually a lot, but I guess we'll see in the future how this plays out. I'm kind of playing it by ear. I'm not sure exactly how much space a player would need in my game. Uh, especially since I haven't tested uh, the game that much. When you loot items, they go into the backpack, obviously. It prioritizes the first backpack and the top leftmost uh, slot. So if I close this and open this one, you'll see that as I acquire new items, they go in the top left. What's really cool about this inventory system is that you can also drag backpacks to another backpack to swap them like this. And you'll notice that if I open bag two, all the items are, are there. If you're not a programmer, perhaps that's not very impressive, <laughs> but um, it took me a lot of work to do that, a lot of coding to get that uh, working properly, so I'm pretty proud of that myself. Uh, another cool thing I want to show you is the bank. The bank is completely different, so instead of having, what was it, like a, a 2x4 uh, matrix, it's, it's a 2x4, but these are now backpack slots. Uh, what's really cool about this is that I can drag a backpack, even if it has items in it, I can drag it into the bank like that. And if I open up the bag in the bank, you can see that the items that were in it are still in it. So that's just a really quick way of transferring items to your bank if need be, if you want to. Um, and I guess that's it for the inventory system. I mean, there's not much else to say about it other than um, I think it's a lot uh, cleaner and 
elegant, and who doesn't like backpacks? The next thing I want to show you is, since I have these iron ingots, I might as well show you the crafting. I know I already showed this in a previous video, but I did something new. So now, when you craft a sword, it'll give you uh, a rarity. You'll see underneath where it says uh, short sword, it says uh, common. So that's the rarity. And every time you craft a sword or a piece of armor, it randomizes the stats. So the the maximum damage of this sword is 23, and that, that's a common item. This one is a trivial short, a short sword, and it only gives you a maximum damage of 12. So this is a really bad sword, and probably wouldn't be worth a lot. There are five different rarities. There's trivial, or in order from uh, worst to best, uh, trivial, common, uncommon, exceptional, and rare. And I'm actually thinking about creating more rarities like epic and fabled and all that um, for extremely rare epic items. Maybe if I have like boss battles in the future or something and you uh, loot boss, uh, loot bosses, they might give you a super epic rare sword or whatever. But anyway, when you craft an item, you have a chance of getting one of five rarities. I, I kind of want to show you the rare one, but I don't know if we're going to be sitting here all day. Okay, so this is an example of the absolute worst sword you can get. Uh, the maximum damage can't go below 10 because the minimum damage is 9, so... This is absolute trash right here. We got the absolute worst. Let's see if we can get the absolute best. Okay, so here is an example of an exceptional short sword. The maximum, maximum damage is 35, but it's not the rarest. It's not the best, but it is really, really good. 35 is really good for that tier. I'm still trying to get a rare, but I'm just not getting it. I'm getting a bunch of commons, which of course is what I want as a game developer. Okay, so a million swords later, I finally got a rare. <laughs> the damage, the max damage is 38, which I believe might actually be the absolute maximum that this sword can deal. So that should do it for my video. I just want to add that when you get a rare or exceptional sword or piece of armor. I think it would be really cool to show its rarity in another way, like maybe maybe some, I don't know, visual effect or coloration or something. I don't know, flames? I don't know, whatever. Thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe and also follow me on Twitter at Dev. I try to post as often as I can. I post my progress uh, every week, so be sure to check that out. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. I'll see you later.